Okay, hi there, Kevin Nova here, and I'm at B Street Music in downtown San Mateo, California, one of the best music stores around. Um, and today, we're going to review the Ernie Ball Music Man Exus. This is a really nice guitar, I gotta tell you, I just started playing it about half an hour ago for the first time, and I'm already in love with it. Man, I wish I could take it home with me. Um, but I'm going to give you the details about it. As far as the history of it, I think most of you know who it was designed by, designed by a very famous guitar player who has since moved on to other companies. He, he was with PV for a while, now he was, he's with Fender. Um, and honestly, I haven't tried those guitars, so I don't know how they compared to this one. Um, this one is now called the Axis. Um, so if you're watching this video because you're a fan of the designer of the guitar, you probably want to know how well does it do that. Well, I can tell you, this guitar plays super easily. It does that better than any guitar I've played, to be honest. Um, so I'll just give you a little demo here. <laughs> It, it does that stuff really easily. Um, it's, I mean, it was made for that, you know? But the thing that I'm surprised with is how well it handles other styles besides that. I mean, that's kind of, I think, what the guitar is known for. But um, on top of that, you know, um, it has beautiful clean tones. And I always say, if a guitar and an amp, if they don't sound good clean, I don't want them, you know? Um, you gotta have a good clean tone. You gotta have something to start with, and then you move up from there. Um, and this thing just has beautiful cleans. You know? Listen to this. clean bluesy tones out of the thing. What was that note? That's what... Um, you can get those, you know, kind of that kind of sound. Um, also, shockingly enough, um, it's really good for like twangy, like country sounds, you know? Um, this kind of thing, you know? So you get you can play blues, country, rock, you know, heavy metal. Um, I think this is such a well-rounded guitar. I'll give you some of the the details, the specs on it now, because I know you're also interested in that. Um, it's got two really beautiful sounding humbucking pickups. I don't know who made them actually, but you can look that up online. Has one volume knob, no tone control. Some people they they say no tone control. Um, but the truth is, it's when you have when you don't have tone control, it's all kind of in your fingers. You know, you want trouble. You get close to the bridge. You know, if you want more of a bass sound, you know, you can get a huge variety of tones out of this guitar just in the way that you play it, much in the way that you would with an acoustic guitar. 
Acoustic guitars don't have tone control, so you just you, you change your playing to get different tones. And that's exactly how, how it works on a guitar like this. Even though you do have the two pickups, so you get a, a variety of sounds there. Um, it's got one master volume. It has this bridge on it that um, it, it looks like a, like a Floyd. It doesn't say Floyd on it, so I'm not sure if it's an actual Floyd. It says Music Man on it, but um, either way... Hold the strings up to here, you know, and then it goes right beautifully in tune, the way a good Floyd should. So whether it's an actual Floyd or just like a Music Man version, I that I honestly don't know, but it stays in tune beautifully. I'm, I'm amazed at how well it stays in tune. Um, a couple of the features that I like about this guitar as well, I like having the switch down here as opposed to up here. Up here it gets in the way a lot, you know. Um, if, if you strum like this, like I do, it's a really bad location. But also the volume knob. Um, a lot of people, yeah, I hear people complain that they don't like Stratocasters because the volume is too close and their pinky hits it and they turn down unintentionally. But then Gibson's, it's way down here and you can't reach it while you're playing. Well, this is, this is perfectly set up, kind of in between where it would be on a, on a Gibson or a Stratocaster. And it's, you know, you can reach it with your pinky while playing by, by extending your, your finger out um, and have complete control of the volume without it being too close and getting in the way. And I think that's a really good location right there. Um, the switch is in a good location as well. Another thing that I really like about this guitar is that it has this, you know, beautiful shiny headstock. You can see there's the, the gloss finish on the headstock, but it stops right there and you can tell the difference when you feel this the gloss um, if your hands get sweaty or clammy or sometimes it gets very sticky but the back of the neck is just it's just pure satin it's like just sanded down pure wood um, and it is it's smooth as silk and so just sliding up and down the neck on this thing is effortless um, so all in all I, I really like this guitar. It was made in California, so all American-made guitars are going to be more than guitars made elsewhere. Here goes the train again. Toot toot! On board! Um, every time the train goes by, I want to break into a Johnny Cash song. I don't know why. So, uh, but anyways, if you contact B Street Music directly, you could actually buy this exact guitar here, not one like it, but you can get this one. And even with my little grubby fingerprints all over it, and you have to wipe them down with a cloth. Um, but uh, yeah, so all in all, I think it's a great guitar. And if you don't mind, I'm just gonna play it some more. Honestly, I can't find anything wrong with it. It's um, super easy upper fret access. Um, it's called the Axis. Access, two different words. They're spelled differently. Look them up. Um, <laughs> it's got this nice little cutaway heel here, 
with a, a five bolt neck. Um, so, so getting up to that 22nd fret, it does have 22 frets, super easy. Um, also, um, no truss rod up there, it's, it's down here, which makes uh, adjusting the neck much easier. Um, if you have any questions, just, uh, just ask, just put them in the comments and I'll be glad to answer. Um, and uh, check the links below. You can uh, find uh, B Street Music. You can buy directly from them, or you know, look up my website if you want to hear some uh, some music. All right. Well, thanks for watching, everybody. Take it easy. See you next time.